Hi, welcome to the third questions for centripetal force in circular motion. Okay, let us try this question together. A conical pendulum is formed by whirling a stone of mass 50 gram. Okay, so we have the mass here. Okay, we have uh, the mass, but in gram, you will have to change to kilogram, the SI unit. At the end of a, at the end of a string of length zero point two five meter, this is the length. The stone completes ten revolutions in five seconds. Uh, you can get R P uh, revolution per second R P S. Calculate the tensions in the string. The angle that the string makes to the vertical means this one, this angle theta, and the radius of the circle is the speed of rotation is halved. Okay, let's do one by one. We have the mass. We already have the mass. We have the length here. And uh, uh, here it says 10 revolutions in 5 seconds. So calculate tension, uh, angle theta, and find the radius. Okay. So uh, this is the information given. Mass, change to kilogram already. Meter, length. Uh, and the freak... Uh, Ah, five time revolution per second per in five seconds we can find frequency. Okay, you just take ten revolutions divided by five seconds. So what do we get? Uh, we will get uh ten divided by five get two uh revolutions per second. Okay, uh or you also can write as two RPS. Uh, two RPS. Two revolution per second. Now, um, okay. Believe me, if you have frequency, it's better you straight away find the omega. Yeah, believe me. You can find omega once you have frequency. Omega is two pi f. Okay, two pi f. Um, so uh, r um. Okay, the actually frequency also can write as two per second. Yeah, the unit. Or you also can write as 2 hertz. These are all the units. Alright? So 2 pi f. Uh, so f is 2. Uh, okay? You know, this frequency means you make uh, 2 rotations in 1 second. 2 rotations per second. Uh, 2 revolutions per second. You make 2 turn. In 1 second, in one second time, you can make 2 turn. Right? Okay, find omega, so you get 4 pi uh, radian per second. Uh, that's the unit for omega, radian per second. 4 pi radian per second. Now, um, we got the omega. Find the tension. Okay, whenever you want to try a uh, circular motion question, you must begin with drawing free boy diagram. Uh, he say it is a conical pendulum conical pendulum it looks like a cone cone eh? a cone so it looks like a cone like this yeah when you turn like in a cone whirling the stone so these are the stone this is the stone this is the string eh? now at the left hand side so uh draw free body diagram show all the forces first you must uh, draw a point yeah Draw a point at the center, you must draw the point mass. Yeah, you must have a point mass at the center, and all the all the forces are uh, coming out from the point mass. Yeah, all the forces you must draw coming out from that one point, the point mass. So it has the string attached, so it is pulled by the string, so it has the tension along the string, it has the weight downward. Okay. And because the circle is at the right hand side, the center of the circle is at the right hand side of the object. So the centripetal acceleration is towards the center of circle. Okay, centripetal acceleration always towards the center of circle. So centripetal acceleration AC is also to the right. Okay, towards the center of circle, to the right. Uh, you must show the AC. You must show the AC. You must draw the AC. Because we want later we will put the positive and negative sign for the forces. After that, you see the tension has angle theta. Okay, this is the angle theta 
uh, the string mixed with the vertical. So when this is theta, this is also theta. Yeah, this is also theta because it's like uh, alternate angle. Yeah, alternate angle. So when you see you have tension with angle, you must resolve first. Okay, always resolve all forces with angle to get the x component and y component. So here we have a. Uh, uh, Okay, we start with this one. Adjacent to angle and adjacent to theta is T cos theta for y axis. Uh, the x axis is opposite to, opposite to angle, so it is T sine theta. Okay, good. Now, follow acceleration positive, opposite acceleration negative. So, what we can say is the T sine theta is positive. The T sine theta is positive because follow acceleration. And you see, uh, in X component, it has the acceleration, means uh, the resultant force in, is only at the X component. So T sine theta is the resultant force. You understand? Uh, T sine theta. T sine theta is the resultant force. Yeah, the, result, the resultant force. Uh, and this resultant force is the centripetal force. Yeah? So, so T sine theta is the centripetal force, which is required for the pendulum to move in a circle. Uh, it is the T sine theta that makes the pendulum to move in a circle. Okay, this T sine theta serves as the centripetal force for the circular motion to happen. Okay, now. Let's continue with doing our equation for x and y component. So as uh, we have seen just now, the AC acceleration is at the x component. So that's why fx equal to mac. Uh, this one also equal to fc itself. So what forces we have in x component? We only have the t sine theta. And it is positive because follow acceleration. Okay, so write that down. Write that down. T sine theta equal to MAC. And T sine theta, MAC, just... Um, oh, AC. Uh, this time, because we already have omega, omega, so A, our AC, we substitute with R omega square. Uh, so our AC don't use V square over R. We use R omega square. Because we have omega. Understand? Okay, so now uh, hold on first. Let's do the y component. So the y component we have the t cos theta and mg. Okay, t cos theta and mg. Okay, so just uh, we don't have acceleration in y component. So going up is positive, going down is negative. That's all. So t cos theta minus the mg equal to zero. That's it. Yeah, so what do we have? T cos theta is mg. Okay, um, so we have now, we have two equations. Equation 1, equation 2. So, we must do simultaneous equation. Okay, so just take the first equation, the sine divided by cos. The sine divided by cos. So we take, because we want to use sine divided by cos to get tangent theta. That's why you use 1 divided by 2. We use 1 divided by 2. So, T sine theta divided by T cos theta equal to the MR omega square divided by MG. Okay? Now, we can cut off the commons, the tension, the mass. The sine divided by cos, we get tangent. Okay, uh, sine divided by cos, we get tangent. And uh, here is uh, left with r omega square over g. That's it. Okay, now we don't have the radius actually. You see that? We don't have the radius. We only have the length. Ah, so how? We only have the length. We don't have the radius of circle, you know? This is a circle. This is a circle. Uh, the circle has radius r, but this r is not equal to the length of the string. 
No, the length of the string is the hypotenuse. So we need to find the radius of circle first uh, before we can proceed. You see the R here? So how? Uh, so you can see this is actually a right angle triangle, uh, just like this one. Uh, I draw over here. Uh, radius, we want, if we want to find the radius of the circle, uh, we need to use trigonometry. We have the length here, theta here. So how? Uh, okay, R is opposite theta. So we can use what? We can use uh, sine theta equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Uh, sine theta is sine theta is opposite divided by hypotenuse. R divided by L. That's it. So we got our R. Our R is L sine theta. All right. L is R is L sine theta. So let's put inside. Oh, okay. Uh, seems like. Um, okay. Never mind. Tangent theta equal to R. R just now is L sine theta. Uh, R is L sine theta. Just put inside. L sine theta uh, omega square over G. Oh, now we have tangent theta and sine theta. Oh, it seems like we no need to make it tangent theta. We remain as sine theta. Then we can cut off. So change back. Change back the tangent theta into sine theta over cos theta equal to L sine theta uh, the omega square over G. Uh, then we can cut the sine sin theta. Then easy to solve the questions. So we no more sine theta. We only have cos theta there. So okay, let's continue. So cos theta. Okay. Uh, I mean, go upward, sine, cos theta go upward. So this one also uh, interchange. Uh, interchange, so it becomes G on top and then over L omega square. Okay, that's it. Okay. Uh, now we have all the values. We have all the values. We have the what? We have the, the L. We have what? L. We have. L we have G G value is uh 9.81 yeah it didn't specify omega ah uh, just now we got omega omega is 2 is 4 pi okay so just uh sorry just now the L is 0 0.25 so let's calculate let's put inside yeah our G value is 9.81 divided by our L is 0 0.25 meter our omega is 4 pi okay so is it correct? 0 0.25 and 4 pi. 0 0.25 and 4 pi. Yes, that's correct. Now, so calculate and we got our theta as 75 degree point six uh, seventy five point six one degree. Yeah, that's our theta. Uh, that's our answer for that's our answer for part B. Huh? That's our answer for part B. We uh, we want to find part A. Part A asks for the tension. Now the theta, we got the theta, the string made with vertical. Now the tension, how? Tension is, uh, just look back. Which equation can we use? Oh, we can use this one. Yeah, use the T cos theta equal to mg. Uh, the formula, T cos theta equal to mg. Uh, so uh, the equation 2, yeah, equation 2. Uh, t cos theta equal to mg. Our t is equal to mg divided by uh, cos theta. So what is our mass? What is our mass? Our mass is uh, uh, 0 0.05 kilogram. SI unit, yeah? 0 0.05 kilogram multiplied by g is 9.81, the gravity. Our cost, our answer for theta is 75.61. 75.61, put inside. Okay, 75.61 degree. And our tension will be um, 1.97 Newton. Yeah, that's it. That's the answer, 1.97. Okay, that's our answer for uh, this uh, part. Part A, part A. Okay, that's our part A. Now, 
Uh, what's the last question, part C? Why is the radius of the circle if the speed of rotation is half? Oh, speed of rotation refer to the... You can say this is as omega. Uh, this is omega 2. Yeah? It's half. That means it's half of the first omega. Just now we got this is the omega 1, uh, 4 pi. So now omega 2 should be 2 pi because it's half already. Yeah, it's half already. So we want to find the radius of the circle. What happened to the radius? So, okay, we got our omega 2 is half uh, omega 1. And because the speed of rotation is half. So just now our, uh, okay, just now our omega 1 is, uh, omega 1 is 4 pi. Yeah, our omega 1 is 4 pi. Just put inside 4 pi. So omega 2 is only 2 pi. Yeah, 2 pi radian per second. Okay, so we got our omega 2. So we want to find what happened to the radius. So see what equation we have omega first. What equation can we use? We can use the equation, yeah, we can use this one. Cos theta g l omega square. Right? That's our equation. Um, our equation, yeah, this one, this equation we can use. Uh, we can use this equation. Yeah? Uh, this equation. We can use this equation. Now, uh... Oh, G, cos it G over L omega square. Okay, so write that down. Cos theta equal to G over L omega square. Yeah, is it? Is that correct? Yeah, correct. Now, uh, we have the omega. We have the... What happened to the radius? Oh, okay. So, let's find out. Let's find out... Um, we have the omega theta. What happened to the theta? What happened to the angle theta? L. Okay. Oh, we need to find the theta. So let's find out the theta first. Uh, okay. 9.81. So our L still remember the same. The length never changed. Length is 0 0.25 meter. So 0 0.25 times the omega. Omega now is... Uh, now we are using uh, now omega 2 uh, this one also become theta 2 yeah all the others like g and l is always constant only the omega changes because the speed become half isn't it the speed become half so the theta also changes so we want to find a new value find a new value so this is 2 pi uh, as uh, just just now we calculate so uh, we got theta 2 equal to our theta 2 now equal to 6.30 degree. Uh, this is our new theta 2. Now, once we got the theta 2, we can find what? We can find the radius. Uh, our radius is equal to L sine theta. Okay? So, our radius equal to L sine theta. Find the new radius. Uh, this time, this time uh, is theta 2. Uh, the length never change, the radius change. The length never change, the radius of circle change. So let's find out. Let's calculate. Yeah. Uh, our L is always 0 0.25 meter, 0 0.25 sine. Uh, the new angle now, which is uh, 6.3 uh, degree. Okay, 6.3 degree. Um, and then we got the radius 2 is 0 0.0274 meter, which is equal to times 100, we get 2.74 centimeter. So our new radius is 2.74 centimeter. Is that correct? Uh, new radius of circle 2.74 centimeter. That's correct. That's our new radius so you see we need to use several equations before we can find the new radius all right i hope you enjoy please subscribe and like my channel uh, let's continue with the following question four see you bye